Thank you for joining us for the Camp Fort Worth Parent Meeting. We're going to go over the information you need to know for Summer Day Camp 2020. Our mission here at the City of Fort Worth is working together to build a strong community, and summer camp is a great way to do that. Our goals this summer are to provide an affordable youth program in a safe and friendly environment, promote educational learning through recreational activities and social interaction, encourage healthy lifestyles, promote appreciation and respect for diverse cultures, and develop life skills that build strong leaders for tomorrow. Camp fees have been adjusted for this summer. Early bird registration takes place from February 3rd to March 31st, followed by standard pricing from April 1st to May 31st. Camp hours have been extended to 7.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. This means we no longer have extended care or the fees that come along with it. You may choose to register for all trips or no trips. To register for individual field trips, you will need to register by the weekly rates. We will have a late pickup fee of $15 if you pick your camper up after 6 p.m. After 6.15 p.m., each minute will be an additional dollar thereafter. We will also have drop-in rates of $15 per day, plus a membership or day pass. Drop-in hours are from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. There are multiple ways to pay for summer camp. The City of Fort Worth accepts cash, checks, money orders, and credit or debit cards. Please make checks payable to the City of Fort Worth. There is a $25 fee for checks returned due to insufficient funds. Campers will not be allowed to return to camp until all fees are cleared. The $25 fee must be paid at the City Hall cashier's office. Once paid, the parent or guardian must provide the receipt of payment to center staff. If you would like a refund, they will only be given prior to the start of the program. A $10 processing fee will be assessed for all refunds. A credit for the amount of the program can be applied to your account if requested before the program begins but must be put toward a membership or program. Credits are not able to stay on accounts. Campers must wear shoes that lace up or are Velcro. Closed toe sneakers are preferred. Flip flops and sandals are not permitted during normal camp hours, but will be okay during water field trips, however. Roller skate shoes are not permitted. If a camper is not wearing appropriate footwear, they will not be allowed to participate in camp activities. Our Texas summers get hot. So light colored clothing and thinner materials are better for campers since they'll be outside during various times throughout the day. The more comfortable campers are dressed, the more fun they will have. Girls should wear tops that cover below the waist and bottoms. Dresses are not permitted. On swim or water days, campers should bring swimwear, a towel, sunscreen, and a change of clothes. Again, campers are allowed to bring sandals or flip flops for the pool. To avoid campers clothes and towels from being lost, please clearly write your camper's name on the label. Campers may bring a morning snack. They will be provided with a nutritious meal each day, but you may send a lunch along with your camper as well. There will be no refrigeration available, however, for lunches or snacks brought from home. Lunches are not allowed to be heated in a microwave either. Please note any food allergies in EPACT. The City of Fort Worth assumes no responsibility for lost or stolen items. Personal items such as toys, cell phones, MP3 players, and gaming devices must be left at home. Staff will take possession of items if seen and return them at the end of the day to the person who picks up the camper. Staff will provide all equipment necessary for activities during camp. Parents or guardians are required to sign participants in and out each day if the release is not signed. Participants will only be released to individuals 18 years of age or older unless the individual is a sibling age 16 or older as listed in EPACT. Parents may also add an authorized pickup person to the list, but must know the code word in order to do so. Parents may also sign a release allowing their camper to sign himself or herself out at the end of camp. Continuous failure to sign in or out by the parent or guardian will require a meeting with the center coordinator or supervisor. Individuals must present a photo ID. Center staff is responsible for verifying drop-off and pickup of campers. Please address lead staff as soon as you have questions or concerns in a respectful manner. We would like to make sure that any issues or concerns that may arise be kept confidential and private. Staff will ask to speak to you away from the campers when necessary. If there is an emergency, you will be contacted right away. Parents or guardians are encouraged to visit or volunteer during camp. If you'd like to volunteer, you need to fill out a volunteer form online and be approved before doing so. Please go over the code of conduct with your camper. Disciplinary procedures include timeouts, disciplinary reports, suspensions, and removal from camp. Summer day camp participants have the right to feel physically and emotionally safe during our program. Bullying of any form is not allowed. 
parents must go over our anti-bullying contract with their child and sign off an EPEC before summer day camp begins. If your child is being bullied, rest assured that we will address the issue with the other camper and their parents or guardians. Due to privacy, we will not disclose the results of the outcome. Be aware of the following signs of bullying. If your child comes home with damaged or missing clothing or other belongings, if they have unexplained injuries, if they complain frequently of headaches, stomach aches, or feeling sick, if your child has trouble sleeping or has frequent bad dreams, or if they have changes in eating habits, hurt themselves, or run away from home. Field trips may take place once or more per week. Space is limited and the summer day camp buses are filled on a first come, first served basis. The fee includes admission and transportation. Campers must wear their camp t-shirt on field trips. Campers may bring additional money and please remember, field trips are a privilege. Please complete the authorization to administer medication form in EPACT for your child in order for staff to administer medication. Medication must be brought in the container issued by the pharmacy and be given to camp staff at time of arrival. Each medication must be in its own container and have instructions for time, dosage, and administration of medicine on label. At the end of camp, all medications not picked up will be disposed of properly. If an emergency occurs, parents will be notified immediately. Center staff will administer first aid, monitor participants, and notify parents upon pickup for minor accidents or injuries. All center staff are CPR, AED, and first aid certified. Please ensure emergency numbers are correct on EPACT. If required, the local ambulance service will transport your camper to the nearest hospital or healthcare facility as indicated on EPACT. Illnesses will be handled in a manner to protect the health of all participants and staff. If a camper becomes ill and is unable to participate in camp activities, an authorized person must pick up the child as soon as possible. Should staff suspect that camper may have a communicable disease, the parent must pick up the camper within one hour. A doctor's note will be required before the participant may return to summer day camp. Thank you for choosing Camp Fort Worth for your child's summer day camp needs. Our staff strive to promote activities that provide a positive social, cultural, and recreational experience.